good morning everyone in the last session we are trying to discuss about the one of the important example so how we can communicate with the spring boot related applications here we identified the basic example here so we'll try to continue the same example so yesterday we are trying to discuss about the, the h2 database and uh, so like we got some exception in the eclipse id but the id is issue is resolved here now you can see so i want to show you the how we did if i'm going to open the about eclipse here you can see the lombak related it is installed here okay in the about section we are able to see this particular lombok related yesterday we could not identify this so because of some restart, restart related issues we we did not uh, identify this particular information in the help section okay so finally we are able to see this example here if i am going to run this example with help of this particular main method so you can see spring boot application i am running and here yeah, the application is running here so you can see whatever the the spring boot application we are having it is running here now if i am going to show you so local host here welcome to spring boot application now you can click on the login page so it is showing the login page section here and uh, what is another important section so we can go for the something like a registration so this is the registration but when we are trying to run the same example from the eclipse id yesterday we are getting an exception now it is resolved here this is important we need to understand and the same example we are going to run from the intellij also so if i'm going to run this i'm stopping here and here here it is there so here we are going to run the same example so here i'm trying to click on this particular spring boot application so now you can see the same spring boot application is running here so this is another important section we need to understand here if i'm going to load this particular page now we are able to see the same information okay so the same code basically code is same but i loaded <coughs> loaded into the two ids okay so first we loaded into the intellij and uh, second we loaded into the the eclipse so we'll try to continue the same example with the help of this particular intellij because it will give you the some additional information when we are trying to add the properties randomly the property will show but same thing it will not show in the eclipse here okay so, so we'll have some drawbacks inside this particular eclipse section so we'll continue the example with the help of this idea okay so we'll come back to here now what we need basically whenever we are trying to click on this login or registration so if i'm trying to select this it is going to the 404 and uh, what is the uh, the main section we need to implement here save user so instead of save user what we need to provide save registration detail something we need to add here so where we can add here inside this particular section so here we are having to th action so what is th basically timely related timely related libraries we are using here so with the help of this particular timely we are going to implement a, this particular ui pages here okay so this is the the action we are using here so normally we'll use the form action and instead of using the form action we are using the so it's like a timely related action here so everything is same so with the help of this particular save user it will go to the the save user end point here okay now i'm modifying to the save registration information registration details okay save registration details here so object we are going to use as a registration object here. and what is the method we are using post method okay so why we are using the post because the post will reduce the the visibility of the properties whatever we are going to send from the browser so this is important here now i am going to save this and we are we need to implement this particular example so to implement this what we need basically so yesterday we added the properties inside this particular prom.xml so first one we added jdbc and another one we added jpa so using this particular jdbc we are going to load the the jdbc template here okay so if i want to load this particular jdbc template now what we need we need to create the so one 
repository class so here i'm going to create the repository class something like so we can go for the only one repository class for all the login and register related section so instead of this we can go for the user repository okay so user repository so this particular class it's time to load from the so jdbc template so whatever the jdbc template we used it so same template we are using and what we can identify here we need to provide the so auto wire so auto wire basically here we are going to use the public so user repository user repository and here now i'm going to provide the jdbc template here so jdbc template i'm providing it and here this dot jdbc template is equals to jdbc template and here i'm going to provide the the auto wire annotations here and what we are doing is so this particular class we are going to make as a repository here okay so we will try to remove this particular user related sections here now what do we need here we need to create the one method called public so we'll go for the void get in point we'll go for the void and here what we can define here save save registration so we can go for the same method save registration detail so registration object here and registration and here what we can do here we need to write the jdbc template dot update method so update along with this particular update we can go for the parameters also so what are the parameters we can provide here so before going to provide this particular parameter now i am going to take one random class so random why i am using this particular random class here so using this particular random next int or what is the property we provided so i need to check on this uh, anyway we can go for this particular value sorry so so this is a the bounded section i'm going to use it and uh, it will try to provide the values here so next into value okay finally i'm getting this now we'll go to the registration so we do, okay i did not provide the value so long id section okay so id section so user repository class and here when we are trying to discuss about this particular int we can go for the long what happening internally okay so inside the long we don't have section i think in the int only it is available now so we will identify this next into okay so this parameter what we will do registration dot set id now if you see set id method basically the set id method we did not create it but how it is coming with help of this particular long mac it is generating it so if you go to this particular uh, like uh, registration class we don't have a set id now you can see these are all only properties we are having but so that information the setters and getters we did not added here how it is coming with help of this particular long mac library here so this is important here now added so another important section we can write the another important section whatever we are trying to write here so that is also we need to write something like when this user is created when this particular user is created here so this is okay we'll see in the jpi related section here but now here i need to create the one private so static final thing i need to use here so whenever i'm trying to use this particular thing 
REG inset. Okay, so like a register inset query. Now what we can write here? So what is the, the inset query we need to write here? Inset into registration. So directly we can go for the values. So how many values we are going to provide? First one, question mark. I am going to add, so around five or six here. So we'll see how many parameters we are having. So later I will modify this. Okay, so we'll go to the registration class here. First one is ID. Uh, we'll go to the here. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven properties we are having. So we need to add this particular eleven fields here. So how many we added? So three, six, seven. So seven we added. So few more we need to add. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so these are all the information. Now what we can do? So this particular query we are going to use here. So with the help of this particular update, and after this we'll try to insert the data into so registration dot get ID. Registration dot what are all the fields we added? First name, so last name we have, registration dot uh, address one, address two, Registration dot get city get email so username get password registration dot whatever we are missing. So city came ID confirm password not required phone and uh, I hope the last one last one what is the field zip code. code okay so maybe there are all fields so if you count this first second third fourth fifth. 11. Okay, so we we are getting the five value uh, like 11 values here now after this now what we are doing basically This is important here. So whatever we are going to write. So this is the registration section So now where we are going to write this particular registration section under this particular Inside the registration table here. Okay, so now what we need to identify this so here we need to identify another important section. Here I'm going to return the long ID. Whenever this update update basically it will not return anything. So it is a wide method. Now what I will do with the help of this particular wide method. Login. So login basically whatever the username and password we are having. So those information we are going to send back to the login here. Okay, so when we are trying to send this now what I will do. Uh, here after this section here only now I'm going to call. Save login details. Here only I am going to call save login details here. So registration dot get ID I am going to pass. And another one. Mm, what is required? Mm, I think login ID will generate. So this is the 
method I'm going to create here. So whenever we are saving a along with the registration, I'm going to call this section also. But here, okay, so login ID. Okay, I think login ID is not required. We can go for the registrations only. From the registration, we can load multiple fields here. Let me modify this, add an argument. So now it is it will add registration information. So from the registration, now what we will do? We'll try to insert into the login here. So now what I will do here, I'm going to copy this. And instead of this particular REG inset, login inset. Okay, and here what we can do, we can go for the login and we have a three values. So username, password, and along with ID. Get in the pen. So this is important here. Now I'm going to uh, insert into I think the thought table is required so we'll see whether this thought table is required or not we'll identify but now observe so login uh, login object also not required here so directly I think so ID we required so instead of doing this now what we will do we'll move on to this section into the one method here. So now what I'm doing here, I'm trying to create a one method call random values. So here I will paste this and return next into or instead of returning the next into random value so otherwise id value id so simply we can return id so let me return this id and uh, here i'm going to make id and uh, this id i'm going to call from here okay so now so same id here i'm going to call Okay, so this is a way of the common like uh, this method is calling two locations. So because of this we moved uh, data into the method section here and uh, another important section now what we can do here JDBC template dot update. So what is uh, the query we can use here? So login inset and uh, after login inset first parameter I'm going to pass as ID and uh, another parameter registration dot get username okay and another one registration dot get password where is the password and here I'm going to provide the password so this is important so this is the way of saving the data into registrations as well as login okay now we save the data now finally what we will we'll try to write the so login query because registration will not load so whenever it is required, we can load here, but right now we don't need to load this particular data here. Okay, so what we can do? What we can do to load this particular values here? So simply and do instead of this particular login load, I'm going to write here. So based on the condition. select star from login where uh, what we can identify username okay username is equals to question mark so now this we will use here and this is the public method public login load user info based on username uh, what we will pass basically so we'll pass object here. So from the object we can pass username here Okay, so this is a the section information uh, Everything we can write in the controller logic. So this is fine here. So again 
jdbc template dot what is the query we can add here get in the pan this is important here so whatever we inserted this particular section here so query and it is a conditional query how we are going to write this section so to understand this particular conditional query now what do we need basically we need to go to the our the previous example whatever discuss with help of this particular spring core with jdbc here get in the point so spring core with jdbc now before discussing about this particular section uh, where is the row mapper we identified in the previous example it will return the map section so object arg so stream related here we use the row mapper related example again we are going to use the, the same section here result set extractor but here we are going to provide the id sections here so this is the result set extractor we can use here okay so this is important we need to understand here how this particular result set extractor we are going to use here get in the point so this is the the result set extractor if i want to use this particular result set extractor now what is the important section we are going to call here let me go to this particular data so integrate now i am trying to write one common method so the common method basically it will try to return the important sections here login load first one is login load and the second parameter is expecting result is a text factor so result is a text extractor if i want to use this now uh, we can go for the internally what we are having result is a text factor so internally it is expecting the result is a text factor like this and we are going to implement this particular method call extract data okay so this is important now what we can do instead of writing this particular anonymous class here we need to write the we need to write the so lambda related sections here now if you see what why we are getting this error so not it should be close with this okay where is expecting this so this is wrong this is the method and this is the section and this is completed okay so within this we need to add this okay so this is we added here now if i'm going to add the same method with help of this particular lambda related section now observe how i'm trying to write here jdbc template dot so query i'm writing the login load query and here we can write rs rs basically it is expecting result is set here so what what we can do so we are not going to call this particular method because internally we'll try to call the lambda here instead of using the method references here so this is expecting method reference section but we'll go for the lambda related section but here what we need to add here get in the point so what we need to add basically these are the inside the lambda section we need to add a lot of information here so if i'm going to provide this particular example we need to create the which object we need to create login object login login is equals to new login and after this login dot 
okay set id it is not yet created first we will create the id inside this id will create and we'll go for go back to the same id so rs dot get long okay so what we can provide column name id and do login dot set username get in the pen and rs dot get to string username and do login dot login dot what we can provide here something like a password get to string because these are all the passwords here and finally return login okay so this is a way of writing the the java it so why we are getting this section is expecting two sections here but is okay so we need to write two sections only if i am trying to write two sections it should be outside this sorry this is important here and here what is expecting return statement so what is the return statement is expecting here now you can see here we are trying to return null but here the query is expecting login information so why we are returning login one so can't we use this login i will remove this particular section and i will make login okay so internally we are having this login uh, we can go for the same login one okay so this is the way of writing the login section so make the format here control alt l so this is the format we are using to make this particular section now this method i can make last here so that the common methods are we are going to use last okay this is the the method we are going to use for the username we load the the particular user information okay so now we created now what we need basically from the controller section we need to create the methods here here we are having three methods here and so public string now what i will write here here i am going to write the uh, save register info okay save register info and what we can write here basically here we can define the registration object here and with help of this particular registration we are going to call and what is the the private we can use it so what we are providing something like a user not user user repository and here so public home control so user repository now what i am doing it with help of this particular user repository is equals to repository on top of this i am going to make auto void okay so this is important here after making this now what we can do here okay so we are doing outside here this is within the section so registration now what we are expecting here we can give slash here okay we can give this particular slash section now what we can write here instead of providing this particular request to mapping so i'm going to copy the same request to mapping and uh, 
we'll go to the registration and i will copy this the path whatever the path we are providing and so it should be post method if it is a post method now what we can do here we need to provide the value here and we can write the method post method this is important and another method we can write here whenever we are trying to click on the login so one more method i'm trying to write here load login info and here login and now what i will do here i am going to call the load username based on this particular username okay so we are going to get this particular login one so we can write another section also and inside the if condition so objects not null login one if this particular object is not null simply we can go to the slash section so otherwise what we can write here redirect into the so redirect to column what we can write here something like login only so if n okay so this is we can write here now finally when we are trying to click on this login it should be this should information load login info so we define the this section here now what i will do so i am stopping this section we'll try to run one more time here so far we created whatever the the like home controller as well as repository sections here i am clearing the browser like console i am trying to run one more time here okay so everything is successful and it is created this section now if i am going to load this object information so registration and what is the username so username spring boot password i am giving as a boot so confirm password also i am giving boot only first name spring last name boot address one basically so for i uh, what we can write address one and address two and here we can write okay hyderabad telangana phone number so the phone number randomly i'm giving and email so this is the the famous email id we are using so city so city basically so here already be given right so i think these are all the columns are hyder not required okay so anyway city also i am going to give hyderabad only okay so something like it start with the 5001 now i am trying to click on the save so we are getting 500 so basically we are going to get 500 because the tables are not created now we'll identify why we are getting a so table registration is not found here get in the pen so the table registration is not found so where we need to create this particular table registration section we need to create inside the the h2 database here get in the pen so now we'll go for the h2 console so this is our console now if i'm going to refresh this particular section it is creating like this password 
let me connect this now it is connected so here we don't have any tables here. so these are all the default tables here so user information it is created and this is the schema related sections here but any other uh, tables are not created now what we will do we need to create the table structure so if i want to create this particular table structure what we need basically okay so we need a registration table as well as login table now what we can do we'll copy the okay from here we can construct the table section in our or like dba or admin we'll try to construct the table and the table query so later we can go for the so creation okay so i will copy this same section whatever we are having here and so what we can write here this is important create table so if the table is not exist this is important here so if the table getting the pen this is important create a table if not exist if the table is not existing what is the table we can write registration okay so here we can go for the the id so i'm not sure this is the same value if it is support we can go for the same otherwise we can try to modify this particular id value and we need to copy the what are the the properties we are having inside this particular registration section so okay so i sorry uh, here also we can copy right it is not loading the section so username and password basically i think it is not required here anyway we are trying to create inside the inside this particular uh, login table so along with this we can remove this particular address so because we are having the sections basically these are the two information is not required only address is enough here after email we can write this particular city address basically we can write the state here instead of writing address you can refine the state section oh sorry i am modifying here okay so i think i don't want to use this section so we'll close this because already we are trying to work on this uh, intellij we'll come back to here uh, let me reload from the disk here okay so sync successfully completed now if i'm going to open the registration so username password so username password will keep here but in the table we are not going to modify this i know password and confirm password what we can do we can check here where we can check in the home controller itself only we can check here so before saving this section here we can check the condition so if what we can write here so registration dot get password dot equals to registration dot to get confirm password so if it both are equal then only we can go for this particular section and we can return this so otherwise else here simply we'll redirect into the we'll try to redirect into the same registration page here okay same registration page we are going to redirect here so this is we id identified here now we'll come back to here registration so only one so one this two also not required here so first name let me modify so id we have first name also we have and the last name so we can write the phone so phone same where care i'm trying to use it after this email so email i'm copying here after email first we will create the city after city only we can go for the state so 
so state finally zip code okay so this is the registration table now what we will do we'll try to create here so click on the run okay let me select this oh sorry console is uh, server is down here okay anyway we identified this section now how many we need here so id uh, one so password and username we are not going to save anyway for one two three four five six seven eight so only eight we need so we'll go to the user repository good this is not needed first we'll make up to eight only so one two three four five six seven eight remaining i will remove this okay eight eight columns we required here so id first name last name we are going to provide here and after this so address one and address two we remove here okay address one and address two we remove here now what we need to provide here so city and email so email section we can keep here we can keep the email email let me go to the registration so id first name last name phone we have so here we are having phone okay phone email phone emails uh, now i will modify this into the below section so phone email city state email ct so username password we are removing here so we'll add state section okay so these are all the the final sections here now this is the way we are going to save now you can count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so we created later we are moving into this section now so same way what we can do we'll copy this section and we'll try to create the login also login id same and what are the another properties we are having so it is a login username and password okay so this is we'll save here and we'll come back to here we'll try to start the server so application is started now again we need to refresh this so what is the password password we need to and we are connecting this now what i will do i am going to sorry i am going to run these two sections here so where we are getting an error uh, this is important here let me save and run somewhere we are getting here so expected identifier so he is expecting identifier basically now we need to modify this so because the serial it is not identified like a, registration so first name last name expected identifier no okay so unique it is not required here what we are getting uh, 
Uh, okay, let me make a primary key also. So primary key, I am trying to make idea. No, anything we are missing? Uh, table. Expected identifier. What identifier we are we are missing here? Okay. Maybe this one. No. Identity. First name. Last name, where care, phone, where care, city, state. So all the commas we provided one, two, five, six, and last one, this primary key we provided as ID. So ID, it is correct. So table, create a table, if not exist, registration. It's correct only. So why we are getting expected identifier? Semicolon is expecting, where is semicolon is expecting? No, okay, let me write select. So it should get a table not found. Okay, let me rejoin this why we are getting. Password. Here we are having table test ID into primary key. Okay, here only we can add instead of identity, we can go for the into primary key. Okay, so name varchar. So into primary key and a primary key so this i'm trying to remove this okay let me run this oh something is missing what we are doing okay let me run here what happens if i'm going to run this Okay, so it should be exist here. So it should be exist basically. Now you can see it is created. So we miss this. So it is this particular syntax, whatever we provided, it is not providing the proper information. So now finally we created into ID as well as the section we created here. Okay, so now along with this, we are going to copy login section here. Getting the pen. So we are going to create the login section. So whatever the login we are having, we'll create this again. Here we can modify. So it is expecting into primary key and so username we can make as a unique here. And after this, not you can write the exit section. So this is the login and we create a registration so now what i'm doing is i'm going to run this example so first i will click on the registration now if you see we are getting 500 because we modified some data so we need to save this to those information now if you see here we are getting template registration this the column 39 it is it will does not match here so because we modified the data if you go to the 39 here so address one Basically, we don't have address 1 and address 2. So what we did, we removed this particular section. So what we are going to provide here, username. So instead of providing the username and password, first I will make this as a first, uh, first name, last name. Here, I will go to this. First name, last name, username, password, confirm password. And uh, 
address section here i'm going to exist here email phone email city so after city we are going to add state okay so this is and uh, state two we don't have here this is important here now finally the same i'm going to run one more time here stop this so before going to discuss about this now i want to sh show you one important section here basically whenever every time this particular server is stopping uh, starting and stopping here what happening internally basically we need to recreate the table get in the point we need to recreate the table so instead of recreating this particular table now what we can do so inside the resource location if you are trying to providing the file the name it should be schema get in the point it should be schema dot sql so this is important is schema dot sql whenever you are trying to providing this section what happens internally it will try to create the tables so directly the tables are going to created here now here i'm trying to providing the code like a semicolon and uh, these two sections whatever we we are trying to create these two inf objects like a table section and uh, here i'm trying to providing here now if i'm going to run basically the tables are going to created automatically when we are trying to providing the table structure here so it will try to recreate the table here now you can see so we can use the same sql with help of this particular test db get in the point so the tables will should the whatever the table we are creating it should be available here now if you observe carefully here we are having login and registration whenever i'm trying to re-login here whenever i'm trying to re-login here now you can see login as well as registration so this login and registration how it is coming here with the help of this particular schema dot sql whatever the schema dot sql we provided based on that it will try to create the table in the h2 database so inside the h2 database we are using the award the data call like a database name call test db so inside the test db these two tables are created here so every time how many time you are going to stop and server and restart the server it will recreate the tables here now so what we need here we need to click on the registration now you can see it is trying to reload the information so first name what is the first name we can provide so spring i again boot i'm providing it so username spring underscore boot okay password boot so phone number randomly i'm trying to selecting so like a six seven eight nine ten okay email so java at the rate gmail.com and city oh i did not modify the state section so later i can modify that so like uh, and uh, so this is the the default zip code 5001 now whenever i'm trying to click on the save what happening internally it is moving 500 so we are trying to save this particular registration details here so we need to identify why we are getting this particular 500 here so what we are missing here so now you can see resolving the template template might not exist or might not be accessible by the so slash this particular slash is not working here okay so the data is saved or not we need to identify because whenever we are trying to returning so this is a the exception we are getting here so now before going to check this now first we'll go to the console and we'll try to run the select statement select star from so registration now if i'm going to run this we should get the data now you can see so 1741 is id and string is a sorry string is the first name boot is our last name phone number email city and state and zip code so we insert the data into this particular table and along with this now what we can do we can select the one more table call login so select star from login okay so let's see it will not work okay maybe so it will load only one time i guess select star from login now you can see 7217 is id 
So Spring Boot is a username and boot is a password. But what is an issue we are having? It is a redirection issue. So whenever we are trying to redirect it, we are having this particular issue here. So because with the help of this particular slash, it could not identify this. So now what we need basically, we need to provide the home here. So whatever we are trying to returning, uh, where is a home controller? Uh, we should go to the home. And here also we can provide the home section. Okay, now again, we need to stop the server. So this is, we need to identify it. Whenever I'm trying to rerun this particular server, so because right now we are able to see this particular data. So this data is coming, 7217, the username and the password. But after this particular server is started, after this particular server is started, now whenever you are trying to re-login into this particular H2 database here, now if you see, password I'm trying to select here. After this, now if you run this particular select query, select star from login. Any data is there? No data, only tables are created. So why, how the tables are created first? Because of this particular schema dot, whatever the schema dot SQL file we provided, because of this, the data, sorry, the table structure is created. But if we want to insert the data into this particular tables, get in the point. This is important here. If we want to insert the data into this particular table, now what we need basically? So we need a one more file basically. We need a one more file. So how I'm going to write this particular file here? Uh, here only we'll try so insert into getting the pen so just i'm explaining this insert into registration getting the pen. insert into registration and uh, values directly we can provide so id i'm providing and after this particular id so what are the columns we are having? So this is important here. So again, inside the registration, I'm not going to set the data into the login or, so I think it is a simple one. We can use a login purpose. So login purpose is fine. So instead of creating the data into the user, like registration, for this example, I'm going to use data.sql, okay? So data.sql, so this data.sql information we can add later, but now what I'm doing here, insert into login. So here we are going to provide the ID, so something like one, two, three, four, and oh, the, the username I'm trying to providing. So this particular username, I'm going to provide user underscore name, and oh, password. Password, again, I'm trying to providing password. Okay, I'm running this uh, this particular insert query. So we need to see what happening here. Okay, he's expecting double quotes. It should not be the double quote. It should be the single quotes only. What happening internally? Uh, anything is they're getting. So one, two, three, four, ID we product begin to username slash password only, right? So we have a three columns. So username and password. It should be satisfied basically. Expect a identifier. So what we are missing? So we'll try here. So basically, the H2 database is not providing proper information. So we'll not use a single course only, we'll use here. This is basically correct one. Okay, so insert into login. So we have a login and ID into, we are providing the primary key and username varchar and this is also varchar. So I think we can add this query. We'll see this. So after adding this here, I'm saving this example here. 
now I'm stopping this. So if everything is go successful, so this particular data we should see in our login table. Now again, I'm trying to run the same example here. So we are getting an exception. Uh, insert into. Okay, so instead of this, what we can do? Sorry. So here I'm missing values. So I'm missing the values. Okay, let me run this. Okay, it is started. So if it is started now, again here I'm going to run this. Password I'm selecting. Now inside this particular login, select star from login. Now what we are seeing here, so ID one two three four. So username, user underscore name, password, password. Getting the point. So this data, how it is created with the help of this particular data dot SQL. So data dot SQL basically what is doing it? It is trying to insert the data into the database. Same with schema dot SQL. What is doing it? it is trying to creating the table structure. So first to schema will take the highest priority because first it will create the table structure and later the data is going to store into this particular data table. Okay, now I'm clearing this particular console. Now we'll go to the so whatever we are trying to register our object here. So click on the register. Now first name. So spring iPhone boot. It's like a spring underscore boot password. I'm trying to give boot and oh, confirm password. So phone. So phone as we discuss here, I'm going to provide the random number Java at the rate gmail dot com. So city. Hyderabad and uh, Telangana some random zip code if everything is go successful now we are able to see the home page getting the pen now we are able to see this particular home page getting the pen so this is important we need to identify here now what we can do we'll go to the select star from registration so select start from registration the data is created so here we can see the data is created here so with the help of this particular random id data is creating same way in the login so two records we need to see in the login we need to see two records so now you can see so spring boot with the password called boot and this default we are trying to inserting from the data.sql file here okay now what we will do we'll click on the login so username now i will try with the user underscore name Password Password, okay click on save now what happening internally again. We are coming back to the 500 So we need to fix what we are missing something so come back to here what where we are getting an exception No data is available No data available here, so why we are getting the no data? Uh, JDBC SQL no transient exception no data is available from where it is calling so here it is calling user repository we are calling the template so why it is calling lambda user right okay it is selecting this section so no data is available so anyway we'll try with the so one more section. So what we are having, we'll see spring underscore boot and boot. I'm trying to providing. So same thing we are getting here. So we should debug the code. Why we are getting this? So anything we are missing? First we'll go to the user repository class. So here we are having. Okay, what are the properties we are having? Maybe the properties are missing something. So we need to fix this. Okay, first we'll go to this particular uh, login class. Username and passwords are same. Okay, table how we created. So table also columns are same. Okay, if the table columns are same, why we are not getting this data? Uh, anything we are missing here? Lambda is failing. 
Okay, now what I will do here, I'm putting the breakpoint here. We'll debug the code. So maybe I'm thinking this lambda is not working properly, or we should debug the code. What happening? So anyway, so we have a one data, the default data. So whatever the default data we are having, with the default data we are trying to run this. So now you can see application is started here. So now with the help of this particular default default data, we are going to load here. So I'm directly click on this particular login. What we are having? User underscore name password password so click on the save here now it is stopping here login object is creating now what we need basically id so id is coming or not no data is available so based on this particular id no data is coming uh, maybe it is trying to store as a int let me try with uh, let me try with the int here. So we'll identify inside the int is coming. Uh, no, inside the int also data is not coming. Okay, so why the data is not coming here? Okay, what about the second section we can identify here? Column name, no data. Okay, so we'll see the SQL query first. Select from login where username. Okay, so first this query we can run uh, in our H2 database whether we are able to see the data or not. We'll see if anything is wrong. We can fix that. Okay, H2 also it's going to slow up. So because we have a one more request here. So this is the one request we are having. Any another request? Only one request or load user information. Mm, okay, so we'll try to identify RS. So what happening inside this RS? Okay, Hikari pool result is it. Okay, it's connecting. So username with her data is connecting here. And uh, statements what we are having here. So it is selecting this. So select uh, anything we are missing star from login where username is equals to question mark. So in the first location, it is going to open with a username. Okay, so result is set. Visible column count to three, so it's correct. So row ID one, okay. Rows only one, it is showing here. Uh, we are having the data value we are having. So how the value is coming here, integer. So this is the data we have in the table. So it is trying to load the data, but something we are missing here uh, that we need to fix. Column name is wrong. Uh, Username and password. Okay, we'll try to provide the positions here. So instead of identifying this, uh, how we can provide this inside the result set to rows we are having. So data also it's available. Okay, inside the result set we are getting the data. Now what I will do? So rs dot get instead of this. long column index so i will give you the it should start with one or zero so let's me let me try this if it is starting with a one no data why we are getting this it should not get this okay i will give you the positions so this zero basically it will give you the Positions here, so invalid value parameter column index. So, JDBC exception invalid value. Okay, but uh, inside the result set we are having the data. 
So why this is not working? Let's see, is there any way so we can fix this? So in the result, we have a rows, single rows we are getting. Uh, value integer, value var care. So 0, 1, 2. Row is 1. Okay, type password, type username. No, type null. Okay, type is null, type value. Okay, so type it is not recognizing this. Okay, if the type is not recognizing, we can go for the positions. So why the positions are not working? Something, something, username, session, get read only, call by read only. So catalog, test DB, ID, trace, method. Okay, it should be run successfully. So why it is failing this? It should not fail like this. Okay, so how I loaded this? Set ID rs dot get longer column label we can provide or any other section we are having. So blob, byte, club, date, double, fetch, float into ID, uh, references, time. So we are having each data, like each data type we are having. So result is set to data type. It should work basically. Mm, column index. Get long column index. Uh, so zero. It should be run this successfully. No data available. Okay, let me copy this. So why this is throwing an exception? Because of this, maybe H2 database, any specific configuration is required. What happened? Result, it is copied. Okay, not this result. So we need to select this. Copy value and uh, We'll see H2 database got result. We'll identify in the H2 database what we are missing here. So result is set to get a string username. They are providing same thing. Uh, okay, maybe yes, good. Here I'm missing wrong. So I forget something here. So we should go to the while looper. This is important. Inside the while loop only, it should start here. Everything the RS, whatever the RS we are getting, it's going to start with a like this. RS dot has next something we have. Okay, next only. This is okay. So R is that next uh, we need to use it. So I forget this section. So now we'll see. Okay, so it is successfully loaded. Now I will go to the login. Username, password. Let me click on this. Come back to here. So column ID. Now we'll see, okay, in the login, inside the login, ID setting, username is setting password. So now we are going to set this particular password. Now we are in the line number 49. 
let's setting the password now you can see only one object we have now so the login object so everything properties are changed one two three four username and password so we missed the the while loop section because of that Kidding, but because of that it could not load the proper value. So data is loaded successfully. Now we are coming back to the home page. Okay, so using this particular H2 database, now we connected with the registration as well as login also. This is important information we need to understand here. So any questions? Any questions? Uh, whatever we implemented so far. Okay, so if we don't have anything if we observe carefully here what we need uh, this is the spring boot example application We are having here now what we can identify here if I'm going to expand this particular spring boot and application So whatever the annotation we are able to see this spring boot application annotation So this is the the specific annotation. It is coming from the spring boot this annotation basically we did not see in our Spring related example. So what exactly it is having internally? So now you can see first one is spring boot configuration Second one is enable auto configuration and third one is component scan Component scan because we are already familiar with the component scan So whenever we are trying to providing the all the stereotype annotations automatically it will configure with the help of this particular component scan here Okay, and uh, what about this enable auto configuration? It will try to provide the auto configuration by default whenever we are going to provide the starters here Getting the point this is important here whenever we are trying to providing the the spring boot starters based on the the specific starter It will try to provide the so default configuration Getting the point and what about this particular spring boot configuration? What about this particular spring con uh, like a spring boot configuration what it will do it will try to It will try to configure the classes like if I'm going to provide the database related If I'm going to provide the web based related like we need a dispatch solid it should be configured So if we are going to discuss about the security the like a security initializer like we are going to call it as a Security filters so the security filter should be configured automatically But what we are doing in the previous example. I think I close the sections here Whenever we are trying to define this particular database related as well as the spring boot like not the spring boot spring security related sections here What we did we come up with the initializer classes as well as Database the configuration classes here. So these are all the classes are going to configure with the help of this particular configurations here now if you go to this MVC annotation if I'm going to expand this example here So MVC config this is basically what is annotation we are using configuration So configuration internally it is trying to work as a bean stack and each bean internally it is going to work as a bean now So come back to your spring boot configuration. So whatever the spring boot configuration we are discussing internally It is going to work based on the configuration annotations configuration annotation and this section basically this section basically what based on the starters it will try to create the default configuration But this section if you are trying to write to explicit configuration here We can write the whatever we configured so we can copy this entire the spring Spring MVC configuration classes and we can paste it into the spring board because here So we are trying to come up with the explicit configuration. So instead of working with the default configuration We are going to provide the Explicit configuration so explicit configuration is going to identified by the this annotation So this annotation is going to work on the based on the configuration annotation Okay, so this will work on the default configuration based on the status whatever we are going to provide here And we already identified component scan component scan basically all the stereotype annotation like controller rest controller Otherwise like on other uh, service and repository whatever we discuss it. So these are comes under the Stereotype annotation. So everything is going to configure by default with the help of this particular Component scan and another important section what we need basically here the structure Whatever the structure we are creating here. This is important here now You can see inside the resource we are having the template and the static here. So why 
one more folder it is coming as a static this is important inside the static we can write the images section and uh, we can go for the like a CSS files or JavaScript related files we can make inside the static folder okay we'll identify simple example in this particular images section here so if I want to add a spring boot related image now first we'll download the spring boot image here. okay first I will download the uh, spring boot image from here we can download here so which one is fine I think this one I'm going to save here where I'm going to save first directly I'm going to save inside the okay D example right so inside the D we are having example inside the example source main uh, resource and inside the static I am going to provide as a spring boot uh, here uh, we'll try to create a one more folder instead of providing directly so images inside the images I am going to provide spring iPhone.boot.png. okay so this is I'm going to provide now what I will do here I'm going to stop yeah already we stopped this uh, you can see automatically it is stop and the spring boot.png is coming so where we can show so here inside the uh, h2 here we are trying to providing the h2 and we have a one tag call image tag source we are going to use for this particular source first we need to use uh, like at the rate because we are going to down like lower the uh, imp so this particular source instead of this particular source we can go for the th like a time lift source we can use here you can use this particular time leaf and finally this is we need to use so where this particular uh, image is available under images under the images what we are having spring iphone and boot spring iphone and boot dot png okay this is important here so I'm trying to close this particular image tag now inside the registration sorry HTML also we can add same example here adding this particular image here okay now I'm going to run this particular example here so again I'm trying to build and run this particular example uh, Bean creation exception. Why we are getting? Oh, user repository class is not identifying here. Maybe it should be reload. Whenever we are using multiple files here, so it's going to get this particular exceptions here. So still it is getting. Because of this, we are getting a user repository. The class is available here, but it is not loading this particular class here. Okay, so anyway, I will try this. Uh, no, let me build this. I'm trying to build the package, so I'll build the our project here. We'll go to the build section. So let me rebuild one more time. It is building or not? Okay, 831 it is finished here. Let me run this. Oh no my god. So this is very difficult here. Let me Maven clean install. <coughs>
okay so build is successful reload from the disk and i'm trying to run one more time okay successfully it is loaded now we need to see our application again i'm trying to run uh no not this so simply i'm trying to click now you can see <coughs> spring boot whatever the spring boot we added here so it is trying to load this particular image here so if i'm going back to here if i'm trying to click on the login so you're also very able to see spring boot so how we are adding with help of this particular like a static dot images folder we added one image called spring boot spring hyphen boot dot png file and we are trying to set into the with help of this particular time glyph the th like th colon src we added the the path here where this particular image is available okay so this is important section we need to understand here now what i will do so we need to validate this particular section so whatever the validation we used in the spring related example the same validations we are going to use but you need to understand this annotations first why the spring boot application annotation is coming and what are all the the internal the three annotations we have so we need to understand then only we can easily understand the the spring boot how it is going to work and another important section what we need to understand here so this is the the main class we are having spring application and we have a one static method called run so with the help of this particular run method it is going to run this particular applications here so here if you see the basic class whatever the class we are having it so we are running the same class we are providing here okay so this is important because of this particular run method only the spring boot application is going to start internally the run method it will try to create the container related object from the container it will try to create the so whatever the the stereotype annotations we are going to use all the classes are going to created object here okay so this is we need to understand here so we'll try to continue this particular session and tomorrow we'll try to validate once we validate we'll identify with the help of this particular so the same information something like a database uh, again we can connect with the or uh, any other database like a postgres we already identified i am trying to plan the mongo db how we can connect the same example with the mongo db okay so the section we are going to continue tomorrow and one more thing i want to share the information so from the day after tomorrow i am not available so and we'll come back on monday so like uh, so i'm going from personal emergency i'm not available here okay so only tomorrow we are going to have a session so from the wednesday from wednesday i'm not available here so up to the sunday here so i i will co come back on uh, something like fifth we are going to discuss on the the continuation session on monday next monday okay so only tomorrow we are going to have a session so most probably tomorrow we are going to discuss about the some other database integrations here so any questions okay if we don't have anything so we'll continue tomorrow Hello. yes tell me uh what you what you said the uh, class i want to listen again i want to recordings is it possible to share the recording yesterday and today so i share right i uploaded the recorded in the same playlist sorry Okay, just message me in the WhatsApp. I will give you the link. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Ah, uh, no more. Thank you. Okay, And, uh, so we'll continue. Okay, okay, sure. Thank you. Okay, we'll continue tomorrow.